Hello, boys and girls. Today I want to tell you a story that takes place in a far-off land. There, high atop a mountain, stood a beautiful palace. Inside the palace were hundreds and hundreds of richly appointed rooms. And in one of those rooms lived a cheerful little cockroach named Don. Don loved being a cockroach. He liked to run around underneath the floorboards. He liked to scamper up the kitchen walls. And best of all, he liked to climb into dark cupboards and do those things that cockroaches do. One day, as Don was scurrying across the kitchen floor, he was squashed. Doesn't really matter, though, because cockroaches aren't that interesting. However, the foot that crushed him certainly was, for it belonged to a certain Mr. Jeremy Trousercrease, whose brother, Hildegard, had a very good friend. Hold it there, please. Who had a very good job with an accountant who handled the taxes of a well-known doctor who once performed a tonsillectomy on the sister of a famous boxer whose biggest admirer was his mother who once had a brief affair with a plumber who used to fix the pipes. That belonged to an itinerant circus performer whose cleaning lady was at that very moment involved in a search and destroy mission against a colony of cockroaches. One of these cockroaches was named Don. Don loved being a cockroach. He liked to run around underneath the floorboard. Hey, huh? you already said that. No! This is Albert Einstein. His neighbors despise him for being the only Albert Einstein not to have discovered the theory of relativity. Nevertheless, he's quite interesting in his own right. For one thing, he's very good with his hands. Oh, hello there, nice little hands. You're so nice. You particularly are very nice. And, in return, his hands are very good to him. Oh, oh, oh the show. Mind you, this hadn't always been the case. There was a time when his hands used to stay out late at night, carousing and generally misbehaving. <laughs> Yes, they even cheated on him. <laughs> then one day, scandal. One of his hands was seen out with a foot. The other hands were outraged. I can't believe it. Feet are so inferior, so thick and plodding. The really horrible thing about them is they live in the most dirty places. Yes, the really poor ones live in the most disgustingly overcrowded conditions. No, yeah, but you must admit they uh, certainly know how to dance. So, hey, that sounds like a cue for a big musical extravaganza. <laughs> Mm. 
You're on in five, Mr. Sphee. Oh. December 25th, 1968. Somewhere in London. <laughs> yes, a card makes Christmas complete. Sonny said, drunk a drink. 